Welcome to DocuBind video tutorial number four, the binder assembly view, part one. From the dashboard, click on the create a binder button in the upper toolbar and select without template from the drop down menu. The binder assembly view will open. The binder assembly view is the workspace where the binder creation takes place by searching for relevant documents, adding those documents to the binder, editing the binder's organization, customizing the covers and backgrounds, and publishing the finished binder for distribution. The binder assembly view has three main areas of interest. The first area is the top frame called binder properties, which shows the binder name, description, authors, reviewers, binder status, created date, etc. The second area is the middle portion, which includes the assembly configuration and binder to document configuration frames. The third area is the main workspace, which contains the search and binder assembly views and is where the document search and binder creation takes place. We will review the binder properties and basics of the search and binder assembly in this tutorial part one. In part two, we will review additional features and functionality for binder editing, customizing, and publishing. Review of the assembly configuration and binder to document configuration panels will be covered in later tutorials. The binder's property panel is where the data about the binder is entered. All of the fields in this panel will appear on the cover of the binder. For example, we will create a binder which a home building company uses to distribute data and purchase orders for a new home start to contractors. Binder name is the name given to the binder. To create a new binder, only the binder name field is mandatory. Descriptions, authors, reviewers, etc. are all user specified fields. The workspace displays the search view by default. The search button is highlighted in this view. Start the binder creation process by searching for documents to include in the binder. Select the search type from the drop down menu to the left of the search field. We will use exact search for this search. Other available choices are full text, metadata, taxonomy, document name. The search returned 14 documents for us to choose from. The documents are displayed in list form and have the same functional icons to the left of the document name as in the document explorer view. These tools, as well as the displayed metadata, assist in reviewing and choosing the pertinent documents for inclusion in the binder. Choose the documents for inclusion in the binder by clicking on the check boxes to select. You could also use the select all button if you desire. Click on the Add Selected Documents to Binder button. The view will switch to the Binder Assembly view, and this button will be highlighted to indicate this. Click on the Expand All button to display the documents. This view is nearly identical to the Document Explorer view and look and function, with the binder outline structure on the left and the section documents displayed on the right. Documents and sections can be moved, added, deleted, and renamed in this view. To move the sections and documents, click and hold and drag the sections to the new location and release. Click Save drop down button. Return to the previous search results by clicking on the Search View button. Select additional documents to include in the binder. In this case, we will select the framing and drywall purchase orders. Click on the Add Selected Documents to Binder button. The view will switch to the binder assembly view and this button will again be highlighted. Click OK to the reminder dialog box regarding not adding existing documents to the binder a second time. Notice that the new documents are added to the correct section automatically. Now that the binder is complete, Click on the Publish button on the far right side. The choices for publishing are PDF only, Flipbook without mobile version, and Flipbook with mobile version. Both Flipbook publishing choices will also publish a PDF by default as part of the publishing process. The mobile version is optimized in HTML5 for mobile viewing. Choose to publish the Flipbook with mobile version. 
This will publish the binder in all three formats, PDF, Flash, and HTML5. The view will now default to the dashboard view, and the binder will be available for viewing once the publishing process is complete. At any time, the publishing process can be stopped by clicking on the red circle icon. The estimated time to publish will also be shown. We hope you have enjoyed learning about DocuBind and suggest you review the next video in our series, the Document Assembly View Part 2.